co-working, co-creating and co-innovating. Have you heard about this before? I find it fascinating how this emerging trend is breaking the traditional thinking about how we should work together. So today, I'm sending the show from Sweden, attending Berishun Interconnected event, and it's part of the Jelly Week movement taking a place all around the world. I'm Julie Tran, and you're watching Make Change TV. Welcome. I'm sitting here and waiting for all the participants to arrive and as you can see on this wall it's really about creative, being creative. The children are our future, life, a heart, north, everything is possible here. Now I'm here having a chance to talk with one of the organizers behind this event. Welcome to Bert Ola from the Social Capital Forum. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me to come here and experience this. Yeah, yeah it's uh, amazing to have you here from Denmark yeah. and uh, giving some overview of Swedish social entrepreneurs and also setting this into global context with uh, the Worldwide Yellow yeah. Week, so I think it's uh, perfect to have you here and give inspiration and really get things going in, in, uh, in Gothenburg as well. That's great. Yeah. So now let's talk about the Jelly Week. How are you doing now? I mean, it has been a very busy week. Yeah, I'm, uh, I just came back from Berlin, but uh, uh, the Yellow Week started around three, four months ago and Annie Rolf is the founder of it. And it's really to get people to come together all, or, all around the world. It's a little bit of a test, but it's also to find out how we can, both on a global level, work together and also try to tap into the local processes. Uh, it has developed from uh, a few tens before New Year and it exploded after New Year. So there have been more than 100 jellies wow. in just two weeks. Yeah. So now there are 213 galleries around the world in, in all the continents. Yeah, I think it's more like it has it's happening in over 30 countries or something like that, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure if they have the last update because I think it's even coming now. But there are all continents and around 35, 36 yeah. countries, uh, mainly in uh, US, North America, yeah. and Europe, and Europe more than 100. Yeah. But basically, you have it everywhere. Yeah. So what is the jelly? It's um, an informal gathering of people trying to work yeah. together and... Yeah, uh, it was quite a simple idea. You, if you are a small community, you can start to do something. So it's not a very complex thing. Uh, just start to try to find out what are we going to do here in this local place and try to... There are many social entrepreneurs in these co-working spaces. Yeah solving everything from environmental issues to social problems or renewable energy and so 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 it's really to sort out how we design and go for the future i think so what are the results so far results Maybe something you can show me uh, yeah, or? yeah we can try to see here's the overview and the jelly mark and uh, i will just uh, take away here because it's all, yeah. it's really about working with each other online and offline, of course. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. connect to Chicago and yeah. Berlin and all over the world, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, ha you have some supporters down here. Mm -hmm. Many of them are co-working yeah. organizations. If mm -hmm. you look, the Grow Action is connecting yeah. social entrepreneurs and uh, investors. Mm -hmm. And you have social capital markets, so it's a platform for uh, impact investment investors in, in uh, investing in social entrepreneurs and yeah. have desk and so on. So they are very much behind and supporting. Yeah. And uh, two, uh, you can say systems have been created during the week. Uh, one 
is uh, the jelly overview wow. and here you have all organizations mm -hmm. and from the first one and you find uh, addresses facebook twitter yeah. who you can contact so just to gather this information is very valuable for the future yeah. just to start to map who are out there in the field mm. so this is an um, uh, the overview of the jellies yeah. and then we have a project pad so where um, uh, people or communities or jellies working mm -hmm. can come up with some ID okay. so here you have the, the ID you have the description yeah. the contact person and who would like to be part of it yeah. so some of them are I think will result in something at mm -hmm. least so, do you have an overview um, of how many projects that will be a, a reality in the future? Yeah, yeah there already is a reality. Mm -hmm. uh, just to bring people together is a reality mm -hmm. and uh, I know Italy and New Zealand have started some interesting work in another is EduMap, it's Alternative Education and Democracy yeah. uh, that we now maybe can have a global voice conference and said you're not alone yeah. you're many so you can say this is real it's happening and it's growing yeah. and uh, so that is the result and it's inspiration as well yeah. so you can go back in the in the in the real tomorrow yeah. in the tomorrow and you do something yeah. so this is the first time that you're doing this event worldwide yeah uh, last year you did something similar no but not, not in jelly not in jelly week okay. the yellow week Global is the first time. The first time. Okay. So um, sp quite spontaneous yeah. development and very quick. Yeah. So there is also something underlying that is difficult to touch, but yeah. some amazing organizations out there and people and yeah. change makers who change want to do something. Change makers on Make Change TV. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Yeah, so what will happen in the future? Will it be a 2013 yeah, Worldwide Jelly Week again? And, uh... That's one thing that already came up now. There are lots of testing with techniques, mm -hmm. Google Hangout, Skype, Twitter boards, how to communicate. Uh, and uh, just to sort the information as a challenge. Mm -hmm. How do you take this global event to become something in local level? And how do you tie the networks together? Yeah. So that is, uh, you, you really have to try and find out yourself. Yeah. It's an experiment at the same time. But it's the only way to, to really make this movement going. So it's not just a big thing and yeah. then it fades away. You, you take the resource and yeah. you go to next uh, event or next seminar or next conference. Yeah. So that will be a result, I think, a type of global calendar that where um, organizations and people who have been involved mm -hmm they can write up what they will do yeah. and you can if you are doing the same initiative in your place yeah. you can connect with them so you can have health health finance finance or whatever and find some contacts and mm -hmm. yeah find support and inspiration yeah. so it's really about why i think why i said in the beginning co-working mm -hmm. co-innovating yeah co-creating yes really yeah. about yeah, innovation, yeah. truly social innovation. Yeah, and it comes yeah. from, uh, it is a social innovation yeah. itself, a yeah, really exactly. mega yeah. social innovation. Yeah. And how do you work with the, with the information around it and how do you take it to the next step? That's a challenge around it. Yeah. I think it was more than uh, we expected. Yeah. We had a small competition among the people who were here, how many will there be? Ooh. And I said 130, and I think <laughs> what, I have underestimated the three times. Whoa. Now I heard in the end it was 213. Well, so, so. But it's good to be, you know, positive surprised. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, Definitely. So that's, uh, yeah. I think. But I'm looking forward, you know, to follow the development in the future as well. Yeah. It's, it's going to be great. And uh, once again, thanks so much for inviting me here, and it's great to, you know, get hold on you for this interview. It has been a busy day mm -hmm. with a lot of activities. So thank you so much for sharing this with me. Thank you. So that's it from me today, um, from the Bersh... I, I never know. How do you pronounce that word correctly? Bari Hum. Okay. Interconnected event. <laughs> and I, of course I would like to say thank you to um, Social Capital Forum. Um, oh, let me get this here. House of Win-Win 
and Ulrich Klinner Öst and also to Chile Cinema who's behind this camera and Bergeron Culture and Media Vestal behind the other camera. Thank you so much for helping me make um, making this uh, episode possible. So there will be a link to the Jedwick below so you can also find more about their activities and follow the development in the future as well. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye! And I forgot to say, remember to smile and shine. Why do you skip me up now? What? Co-working, co-innovating, co-creating. Well, do you know what that is? <laughs>